After that deadly limo crash in upstate New York, there's increased concern over limousine safety all over the country. Saida Abbas talked to local experts to see how our community can protect themselves going forward. Saida? Sean, according to the Public Utility Commission in Pennsylvania, operating limousines must maintain adequate insurance coverage and adhere to the commission's vehicle safety regulations. The shock of this horrific crash is reaching far beyond the scene in upstate New York. The president of Transportation Solutions in Erie was horrified to learn about the deadly limo crash. Her company has trained future drivers for years. If they're 15 and up passengers, you have to have what's called a CDL, commercial driver's license. And I think it's really, really important that people understand there are rules in place for a reason. And it's more complicated the larger, heavier vehicles and when you start carrying passengers. Bennett says in the wake of this tragedy, People will be more careful driving and riding in a limousine going forward. She says that Transportation Solution never self-inspects their own vehicles. That's done by a licensed third party. Before contracting with a limousine company, consumers should make sure the limo company is licensed with the Public Utility Commission. ABC News reported that the limousine involved in the crash had failed its inspection. Auto mechanic Andrew Kamarowski says some people think getting their car inspected is a money scam, but it's really about staying safe. Everybody on the road, every person you pass or drive next to. There can be many reasons as to why your vehicle might not pass inspection. From wipers to lights, your windshield, tires, brakes, rotors, suspension, exhaust numerous things. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, the crash which took place on Saturday is the deadliest transportation crash in the U.S. since August 2009. Consumers should check the background of limousine carriers to verify that they are authorized and properly insured. Jill?